welcome to day four of our Advent devotionals. Today we're going to continue to look at the carol, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and we're going to focus on the start of a verse in the carol which says, O come, thou Lord of David's key, the royal door fling wide and free. Well, this part of the carol links in with a passage in Revelation chapter 1, verse 17 to 18. And the passage reads, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and the Hades. Well, traditionally, Advent was a time when people would meditate on the four last things, which are death, judgment, heaven and hell. It is these four things that traditionally represented the four Advent candles. And historically, churches used the four weeks of Advent to consider these darker themes. The Advent season falls during the darkest time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, and people in the past have used the time of Advent to consider their own mortality and to prepare for the second coming of Jesus. Unfortunately, we cannot ignore these darker and gloomier themes. And the reality is that each one of us will face death and God's judgment. Today, we have our Christingal service at St John's. And Christingal is a time when we remember Jesus as the light of the world as the light in darkness. And the hope that we can cling to is that Jesus holds the key. Jesus defeated death on the cross. He is the living one, the one who was dead and is now alive forever and ever. If we are in Jesus, then the door to heaven is wide and free. If we come to Jesus, repent of our sins and commit our lives to follow him and put him first, then we can cling to the hope on earth that death is not the end and that we will join Jesus in heaven and live for eternity with him. So the warning to us is that if we live without Jesus, if we ignore him and live our lives as we see fit, then the door to heaven is closed. Let us look to the living one during this time of Advent. For in the darkness we have a light and we no longer need to be afraid of death as it is Jesus that holds the key of death and the Hades. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you are the living one, that you are the one who defeated death and we thank you that if we put our trust in you, then we need not fear death. Help us to set our hearts and minds towards you during this period of Advent. In Jesus' name.